Tony here. For today's 31 Days of Horror, I'm going to feature my worst um, horror movie remakes that they've done that I have in my collection. Now, these are definitely my own opinion. You may like some of these films, um, but these I do not care much about. So I thought I'll go ahead and just get this started, especially with one of our recent releases. Um, of course, I really enjoyed the original Poltergeist film, but when I went and saw the Poltergeist reboot in the theater. I was the only one in the theater on opening night that was there. So it tells you how bad this movie was. Um, it was an okay movie. I've only seen it once at the theater. I haven't seen it since. So maybe it just needs another rewatch. Okay, next up is a classic. And of course, that's the original Halloween. Um, John Carpenter did a great job with the original. So I do not think that there was any reason for Rob Zombie to go and do his own version. I did not like it. Um, the story was weird, but I definitely need to check this one out again as a rewatch because I've only seen it the one time in the theater. I haven't seen it since. Okay, next up is a favorite classic of mine from Alfred Hitchcock, and that's the original Psycho. I really love Psycho. It's one of my favorite horror movies and one of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock films. So I think that when they did this reboot with Vince Vaughn, that it was definitely not necessary. Um, so I think what they did with Bates Motel, the TV series, I thought, was, I thought that was really great, but there was no need to have this particular film created. Okay, next up, um, one of my favorite um, horror movies is A Nightmare on Elm Street, the first movie with Freddy Krueger. I really enjoyed Nightmare on Elm Street. Of course, it's a classic, one that I grew up watching in my teenage years. And when I went and saw the reboot with this Freddy Krueger, the skinny, weird-looking Freddy Krueger, I don't know, I just didn't like it. It just didn't fit. Um, we did get a little bit more of the backstory for Freddy Krueger, but I think that that was very unnecessary. So I'm not a big fan of this reboot. And then lastly, we have Friday the 13th. I've always been a fan of this, of course. Another one that I grew up watching in my teenage years. Um, I love it. It's one of the best. And... I think that the Friday the 13th killer cut was unnecessary. I do remember being excited to see this one in the theater. Um, it was enjoyable, but it was not a necessary reboot. Um, so those are my worst horror movie reboots that I have in my collection. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my selections. And also let me know some of your worst reboots that you know of that they've done for horror movies. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching. And we will see you next time.